What's going on guys? Pack Daddy here bringing you the next pack opening of NHL 19. It's Halloween season right now and as a game changer that means EA hooks us up with some packs so we can check this out, share you guys what comes in these packs that you guys don't have to spend money. I can do it for you. That's the perks that I get right now. So we get the mini packs, we've got premium choice packs, we also got the extreme packs. We've got a couple packs that iron myself through competitive seasons, through doing the sets. Joe Newendike said you gotta get those daily logins. Got a couple gold packs, a couple gold rare player packs, and after we've gone through all of these, we're gonna open up a couple more using the points that we buy ourselves. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off real quick Seeing if we can pull a, here's my little list, my little sticky notes, Evander Kane, Matthew Kachuk, Zadorov, and Wilson. If you can pull any of those rare cards, they're worth a ton. And then the gold common cards, if we get them at any point during this, it's also huge because they're very, very expensive because you need them for that master set, Dustin Bufflin. You got Braun, Smith, Bork, and Orpik. If we pull any of those common cards, I mean, I think Tom Wilson is actually, no, who was it? Zadorov, who's the common one. So if we can get any of those guys at any point during this, I'm going to be very happy. I hate giving money to all you chooches who put the Evander Canes at 50,000 coins on the auction house. It's just ridiculous. And if EA, I just, I'm opening this in the middle of a thought. Let's see. Brandon Montsar. Okay, I don't care. If EA is honed in on the fact that they're trying to prevent coin selling and they've literally made a set so that a common card can go up to 50,000, how honestly are they tracking the coin selling through that? I don't understand that. I think they should do something where they should put it inside like one of the daily challenge sets. If you say, okay, if, make it make it really hard. Score two breakaways on like all-star difficulty or pro difficulty. That's a very hard task. Then that's one of the rewards you can get like an Evander Kane or a Matthew Kachuk or something like that or just random one of the four commons or five commons that you need for sets. I think that would work out much better than people just price hiking cards that literally are terrible. We're gonna open up another gold player pack. I mean, sorry for the rant. I just had to get that off my chest real quick. Wow, Hampus Lindholm, team of the week. It's a duplication, we already have him, so at least I can put my other one that I have up on the auction house. One last gold rare player pack. We're making our way to those Halloween cards. We're getting ready for them. I already skipped the animation. My game has frozen. NHL 19, you never fail to surprise me. Like 20 seconds later, the animation kicks through. I don't even know what's going on. Jason Zucker. All right. I guess the team of the week 83 was pretty decent. These are the gold packs that we get. Maybe this is actually the rewards that we get from doing the pre-order. I know I got one, David Perron. Looking for anybody else. This pack kind of sucks. Nick Foligno, Michael Neuverth. All right, not too bad. But I was saying, maybe these gold packs are actually from the pre-order. I know I did get a couple of rewards. I think they were evolution packs. So they gave me evolution cards last night as a reward for doing really good in the Evo competitive seasons. But the new cards come out at four o'clock, which is right when you want to open packs, but that's when the evolution series ended. So I had to go ahead and open the packs up last night. So unfortunately, I couldn't save them for this pack opening right here. Didn't get anything in them, so you're not missing much. Let's skip through the animation of this one. These bronze cards are nice because our, oh, Jeff Skinner's also nice. Holy crap, that's a lot of bronze cards that's like an entire set right there and these things can sell for up to 600 coins and i refuse to pay 600 for a bronze player but there's doug gilmore at the back to make me feel a little bit better maybe it's just something inside me but i have a hard time really overpaying for something bronze players is one of those and gold common players too like 2500 coins for a gold common player that's insane it's almost the same price as a gold rare at that point skipping the animation let's go through this guy uh essa lindell brady shen just say Brady Chen, Braden Chen, 84 overall team of the week. That's nasty. Oh, face off master. Too bad you didn't have a better synergy because that would have been awesome. Jonas Donskoy, I'm just making sure I'm not like, I mean, I don't quick sell these guys because they're way too expensive to quick sell right now. Love how the price of these is so high that when I do these pack openings, I can just get a lot of coin and fund those other pack openings that come through. But I mean, that was a decent one. A lot of gold common players and a team of the week, Braden Chen, that's not a bad pack. All right, another gold plus pack. The first one was pretty awesome. Gave us a team of the week, so pretty hyped about that one. We're skipping the animation again. Chris Tierney. Uh, let's see. I'm not, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that one. Jacob Rana, Andre Palat, Jordan Schmaltz. All right, so that one was not as fun. We finally made our way back to the Halloween packs. These are all choice packs. This is three rounds. The small one's three rounds. The middle one is four rounds. And then the fifth one is five rounds. And you can see that in the small packs, you get to pick two out of five. In the middle packs, you get to pick three out of five. And the last one, you get to pick four out of six in every single round. So we're going to save that one, obviously, till the end. I think there's like a round of players, a round of contracts, a round of collectibles. So let's see the first one. Cordway, the Roadrunner. Let's go, guys. We're going to pick these three. Oh, I can only pick two. That's right. All right, moving on to the next one. I think that's the only player round we're going to find in this one. So we're picking the Roadrunner, obviously. Awesome. All right, round three. What's it going to be for us? Okay. Let's see here. Uh, I don't really know which ones I need right now. So that's spiders. Ugh, 
Gives me the heebie-jeebies. Do that guy with the crow and a book. Why not? Fourth and final round. Is it more players? Oh, wait. This is the reveal. <laughs> I got excited. I thought I was like, wait. We already got him in the same pack. So that's it. Only three rounds in this one. That's right. It's a small pack. Duh. But hey, decent start overall. We got the Roadrunner in the first pack. This card is nasty. I love him. Love him on the team. He's on my team right now. That's why you can see the duplicate signature. But everyone's sending the collection right now. We're going to deal with those guys later. Mini Halloween choice pack number two. I don't think this one's going to live up to the hype that the first one gave us. Mark andre Fleury. Milestone. Let's go. I love the card art this year. That's six. We're going to only get to pick two of these guys. Doesn't really matter at this point. We're gonna pick these guys. I'm almost done with my sets. I think I have 430 sets completed. Looking for 70 more after we've done that. I don't really need to worry about keeping players anymore. I can sell these guys on the auction house. Let's see the last one. Ooh, I haven't got this one. And let's get a spider. So we got one of each so far. I got one more choice pack left to go. So far, our luck has been pretty decent. So we got an 86, Yvonne Conway, and we got Mark Andre Fleury Milestone in the second pack. The third pack, come on, give me like a prime time. I don't think Ovechkin's still in packs, but let's see. Oh yeah, that's nowhere near as fun. All right, picking those two. I mean, it really makes it, they should at least keep the players until the final round because it makes these packs right here, which is freaking contracts. That's so stupid. And then we get to the back and then yeah, it's these things again. So. I think they should do the players towards the back. That would have made things so much more interesting. Premium Halloween choice pack. 12 items, four rounds, three picks in every single round. The first round's probably gonna be players again. Let's see what we're gonna get. Wait, Thomas Hurdle. Dang it, I thought that was what we needed to trade in. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of San Jose so much. We need Justin Braun, we need a Vander Kane. Come on. All right, going on to the second round. Let's see, Brandon Saad. Okay, we get a whole lot of gold common players. So I'm hopefully thinking in the next one, we might be able to pick one of these guys up. But right now, we don't really care. Brandon Saad and this guy who's on Team Red Bull. Guy probably has wings. Let's go with the third round. Okay, a Halloween collectible and another contract. And the final round is probably going to be more of those Halloween collectibles. Absolutely. Was this pack worth, what is it, 1,500 points? <laughs> no. One more pack and then we get to the Extreme Halloween Choice Pack. I mean, there's decent, let me check out the, uh, before we open this one, I want to check out what the odds of pulling good players in these packs are. So this is the middle pack, probability of pulling an 85 overall is over a quarter percent, Halloween players 15%, and the most of Halloween players suck. The only ones I really want to pull is a Marshan, or is that a Bergeron? That's a boss of player. If it's a Marshan, I just want a quick sell. If it's a Bergeron, then hey, that's pretty awesome. There's about a 100% chance you're gonna get an 80 overall player, so. Let's see, 15% in this pack. This one should be 30 if things are duplication. It's a 25, but an 87 plus player, we have about a 10% chance to pull out. Can we get lucky? Hey, we're usually pretty lucky with these packs. But before we get to the extreme pack, we have one more Halloween premium choice pack to open. We're not gonna skip the animations. We're actually gonna prolong this one. We're gonna let this one take its time. Wow, <laughs> that's bad. Roman Yossi, not bad. Matt Zuccarello, we got that bronze card, okay. Guess it's gonna be these guys because bronze cards are more expensive than silver cards. Riddle me that one. Second round, we're coming at you quickly. Chris Bygras, David Schlemko, Dominic Simon, Jakob Silverberg, and Brett Connolly. Looking for that ore pick, man. Looking for that ore pick. That's 40,000 coins on the auction house right now. We're gonna just pick three of these guys real quick and move on to the third round, which is gonna give us some contracts and a spider. And the final round is more contracts, of course. Extreme Halloween choice pack, five rounds. I'm thinking two rounds of players. Guaranteed a gold rare player in this pack. But then again, we're just looking for, we're looking for gold commons that people have really price hiked. So I just want to complete that set. I want to get Dustin Buff. I don't want to pay 160,000 coins in uh, gold commons. Matthew Pekka, Christian Dvorak, Rick Nash, Strawman, Sean Monaghan, and Flipper. All right, second round. We can't skip the animation. We gotta go through this one individually. Patrick Kane, okay, not a bad pull. Brian Little is also here. Oh my gosh! Dude, Alexander Ovechkin and Patrick Kane. <laughs> yes, let's go. And a couple more, Keith Kincaid, team of the week. Dude, and an Alex Petrangelo. What a choice back. That was pretty good right there. I'm not gonna lie. 284s and an 86, let's go. I think that's gonna be the final selection round of players because then holy crap it's just it's just logos <laughs> all right in the fourth round is going to be hey a gold collectible that's pretty nice uh let's go for hat lady hat man and spider and in the fifth round wow more crap 
So, this is the most expensive choice pack you can find in the first round. Really scared me because I couldn't find anything. And then, bam, the second round hits you. Patrick Kane, Petrangelo, and Alexander Ovechkin. That is nasty. We've also got Monahan, a couple other players, all these gold rare players, which was nice. We've got all these collectibles, which was sick for the sets. Then we get a gold collectible, so that is fire. Now that we're back with points of our own, we're going to open one of each of these packs. In this pack right here is the 90 overall Dustin Bufflin. Once you open it, it's 48 hours. You get a limited play with Dustin Bufflin's 90 Halloween special edition card. It's awesome. I've already gone through my trial period. It's a blast. But you only get to do that one time, obviously. Um, but we're going to do a gold plus pack. We're going to do the Halloween starter pack, which I don't know if they'll let me buy a second. I already bought one. It was trash. But we're going to try it again just for the sake of simplicity here and one of each. Then we're going to go mini, premium, extreme all the way through the end. So we're going to start things off with a gold plus because gold pluses are awesome they can get you great stuff and we're gonna we're not skip the animation when you don't skip the animation good things come out of these packs ryan reeves geez heavy hitters and speedster holy crap nikita zaitsev that's the first halloween player i've gotten philip grubauer dylan heatherington longest most run out <laughs> i've ever heard justin falk and the last time all right nothing back here but the great part i was in the i was in the mood to start selecting people i did too many choice packs man too many choice packs all right sending them to the collection we're gonna try and go for a halloween starter pack 250 points this is probably gonna be a waste let me buy it eh. all right now we're gonna hit up the mini halloween choice pack 500 points you only get three rounds i think you pick two people through it we gotta skip the animation here ron hextall gosh ron hextall is one of the most legit goalies i've used in this game his card is far and beyond like one of the best goalies i've used in this game he completely just stones people and people probably throw their controller across the room when i use him so ron hextall is a definite pick me up here uh this bronze card is all that i get these packs are so small Second round, you guys are checking. Wait, I don't really need to tell you guys. It's a secret because this is just all gold contracts. Come on, Pack Daddy, what are you doing? What an idiot. <laughs> Last one, let's see, what do we want here? We're gonna go with Hat Lady and they should have put a little tiny, everybody gets a hat in these ones. You gotta put a little tiny top hat on the spider. Then that would be the most selected card of all time, but not bad, we get another legend card. It's time to move on though to the middle one. The premium Halloween choice pack, 1,500 points. We're building up in style. This one's three times more expensive than the last one. No skip the animation here. We're going to look at all these things individually. That's trash. Mark Giordano, don't want that trash. Dave Anderchuk, at least we're lucky with the HUD alumni cards. Round four, I think a second round of players, if I remember correctly. You guys are going to see us. Skip the animation here. What's good? Nobody. All right, the third round, we get a collectible, a couple more contracts, a couple more Contis, which might just be quick sell later on in the year. And there we go. All right, moving on, the Halloween Extreme Choice Pack. We got Patrick Kane, Alexander Ovechkin, and Alex Petrangelo in one round. That was the nastiest thing I've ever seen. I haven't seen a pack like that. Maybe the best Halloween hot pack you'll ever see. That's, that's, that's the thumbnail for this video. That's the thumbnail, that's the title, whatever you want to call it. Confirm purchase. Get in this round, don't be scared. The first round was terrible for us last time. And then again, we're not, we're skipping the animation. We're gonna do one at a time. Max Domi, JT Brown. Okay, that's the second Halloween card we've got. James Reimer, Cam Atkinson, and Alex Debrinkit. Verify selection, we keep all those guys, move on it to the heavy hitter round. This is the round that blew the doors off last time at Kevin Miller. That's not blowing the doors off, but we're going to do the player flip through. Next one, Corey Conacher, we don't need you. Chris Kelly, come on. Tom Wilson, yes, we're rich. <laughs> we're absolutely rich. The next one is Michael Stone and Casey Middlestad. Dude, we went from the best round possible to probably one of the worst. We did get Tom Wilson, though, and his card goes for an absurd amount. It's so stupid how high his card goes. But we're definitely picking him. Uh, we'll pick Corey Conacher, Tampa Homer, Casey Middlestat, and Michael Stone. Third round, can we get a gold collectible here? We get a coach, which is interesting. Didn't think we could get a coach in these guys. One more, let's see, a gold collectible. There we go again. Nice pull right here. And in the last one, it's just going to be a whole bunch of more selections. So we're just going to click at random a couple of these contracts. That was good. And let's go to show our earnings, which was nothing. Our best card in here was actually Tom Wilson. Suspended Tom Wilson, heavy hitter. We're going to be turning him in to the sets. So I just want to show you guys real quickly what a Tom Wilson 
Normal rare card is going for. Normally it's what, like 35, 4,000, 75,000, 50,000, 60,000, 100,000, 75,000, and 75,000. But other than that, that is gonna do it for this pack opening. This is just a quick intro to the Halloween edition pack opening. It's a small series. It's probably not gonna be here for maybe about another week. But since that first extreme pack was so good to us, we're probably gonna do this a couple more times and you're gonna see if I can't pull, like if I can't beat that pack. That was the best choice round pack I've ever seen. Ovechkin, Kane, and Petrangelo was insane. So let me know in the comment section if you had a better round than that one in any Halloween edition packs that you've opened. But thanks for watching today's pack opening, guys. Smash that like button before you leave. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so yet. There's plenty of awesome things going down. Don't forget to comment in the comment section your best poll of the year so far. But other than that, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. This is Pack Daddy. I'm out.